Mike from Mike's Autos. Today we are going to be changing a fuel filter on a 99 Chevrolet Suburban. Um, I'm gonna make this very, very, real quick. Um, the first thing you want to do is have your truck running and come to this fuel box center on your truck. Have it running. I already did. I'm just showing y'all. And um, you want to locate your um, fuel pump relay. Nice of GM to um, have a diagram of it on this tray on the back of it. So as you can see, is a fuel pump relay is in the truck and why is it running just stretch that sucker out and the, the truck will stop and you uh, relief all the fuel from the lines um and another thing have your um gas cap over fucking breathe so you get all that air out the tank and block all your wheels in the back jack it up it's right up on this door right here the driver door the uh, fuel filter right up on there i'll show y'all just a minute on the tools you're going to need is a um, crashing wrench 11 16 5 8 um this the whole set, this whole wrench. It's a five, I mean, 11, 16, and a five, eight. But you're gonna need a five, eight only. So as you can see, it's a um, flare nut wrench. If I won't strip anything, so that's the new wrenches. So that's what you might wanna use. And of course, some PVB blaster for the little, you know, the threads on your um, fuel lines. And of course, a new um, fuel filter. And um, a 13 millimeter with a ratchet extension. All right, let's get up on their truck. And I'm gonna show y'all what I do. All right. Like I said, the um, crashing wrench is the put right there. See right there on that on that big old net on the uh, fuel filter. And um, crashing wrench gonna go right there. Flare wrench gonna go right there like that, and then you break it loose just like that. And yeah, the other side as well. Put the crashing wrench right on it. Now break it loose just like that. And um 13 mil bolts hold this bracket on. I got to get the top one, the top one ain't out yet. I know a lot of gas gonna waste. That fuel on this sucker it look pretty dirty. What I'm doing? I'm gonna make this fast. And the same thing is reversal. When I take it off, just put it back how I'm doing it. Just like that. And I'll finish getting your lines off. And you have to be careful because fuel will pour out. See, just like that. So be very careful. I see you need a shop towel or something. Keep it from leaking. Just cover it up like that. Do the same thing for that side. Just break it loose like that. Free from your lines. It's in there. And take it off like that. Pretty clog nasty. Alright, well that's that's it y'all guys. Um the same thing is reversal, so cap put your new one on, screw it in. Snug it down very tight and get it back on there. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.